What's up guys, today we are going to be talking about FGO and how to farm same parts efficiently, especially since we are only 3 days away from Koyan Sky of Light coming in the 6th anniversary. Of course, you might not be able to do everything before her banners go out, but I have good news for you. She'll be back in January, so you will have enough time to amass resources for her. And speaking about January, Koyan Sky of Darkness comes also in January 1st. And also Tamlin Lancelot aka Meluzin will be back around December this year. So if you miss her, do not fret, you can still get her. Now without further ado, let's talk about my main source of Saint Quartz income. The one who made possible to farm over 930 SQs before Morgan and the main quest of LB6. So if you watch my boss fight videos, you'll see that I got two copies of Morgan, as well as a copy of Barghast and one of Bob and Sif. Yes, I got pretty lucky, but I spent 120 quarts, so 4 multis. I went down to 810 quarts. Two weeks later, Melos and Banners came, and as you can watch in my shorts or my full gacha rolls there, I started her banner with a thousand quarts. And you might be thinking, what the heck happened in only two weeks? And as you can see, I got a lot of quarts from Bond. So, first things first, yes, Bonds are above the 10th mark, are expensive time-wise, but are rewarding. 1 million bond for 30 quarts is as good as 10 5-star servants getting a regular bond up in every one of them were to consume only 100k each, but they normally cost about 300k. So having a full team over bond 10 farming together is a massive profit in the making. And, as for the actual farming places, that's a list of the best place bond per AP wise, so you should use as many bond increasing CEs as possible, and always, and I mean always, use your friend's support with Caldea Tea Time, since it will give you 15% extra bond. Together with Tea Time, you should use your own lunch time for 10%, and Heroic Portrait for 50 extra bond. You can go over 30% extra bond using this comp. So, as for the team that will do the job, I usually go with a, a Jean setup with both Castoria, so I can loop 3 waves effortlessly. Normally, I go to Underground Structure in Olympus Secret Hangar. But previously, I went to Camelot's hidden village, Mirage of Dreams. Why? Uh, because it only have two waves, and it's quite fast and time efficient. So you can just use one single target strong DPS and one AoE. And by AoE, I meant literally anyone: Nitocris, Arash, Jangong, anyone that can deal at least. 30k damage AoE, which is actually not much, especially because you can go, let's say, a rush turn to turn 1, it kills uh, first wave, dies, your support games. Let's say you have a single target DPS with no battery. Let's say it's, I don't know, I, I went with Jolter, but let's say it's literally anyone else. Let's say it's Herc. So you have Heracles, it doesn't have any battery, let's say you didn't give him the 20% battery. But then, your friend Merlin, or your friend Castoria, or Waver came up, it gives 50% battery. Let's say you use your own Waver, Skadi, and whatsoever. That's already 100% battery for a character that does not possess any battery. Better than that, you could farm with Black Grail using this type of comp. If your damage C is an 
see that have 50% battery, then you don't need to rely on 100% battery from other servants. You just need 50% to finish the deal. Also, a rush can farm their first wave with just a case call or, well, basically any CE that gives at the very least 70% battery since his skill already gives him 30% from 20 to 30%. So that's not a problem. And lastly, let's think about it. Let's say we're in a quote unquote dead week. A week that we have no event and you already did all your main quest, all your free quest, all your interlude, harem cups, and etc. You can farm each node uh, your entire AP without using any apples. You can waste 288 AP per day. So you can farm each node 13 times a day. You get around 1.1k bond each servant, each time. You gain around 14,000 bonds per day across your entire team. So let's say everyone is already bond 10. After 70 days, so 2 months and 10 days, they will all go to bond 11 and you will get rewarded with 150 Saint Quartzes in a single blow. That's enough for 5 multis. And that's without apples, just your regular AP. And I feel like, especially for beginners, that's not stressed enough how important this is. You can see that I have like two servants bond 15, lots of servants above bond 10, and I'm still farming them. I'm still farming so I can get as much bond as humanly possible. Because not only we're two days away from Coin Sky of Light, then probably a month away from Okitan and Summer Kama, and Koyan Sky of Darkness is coming in about six months. So, farm wisely, spend wisely, and catch you later.